Swimming? Swimming? What? This is for swimming. Oh no, I found all this stuff in the dressing up box. <laughs> I was trying to dress up like a monster. <laughs> but I'm not going swimming, no. Why? What's wrong with swimming? Oh well, I'm afraid of the water. I can't swim. I'm scared I might sink. Oh, don't worry, Ben. I'll teach you to swim. It's fun. Uh, well, the thing is, I think I've got something really important to do later, Small. <coughs> We've got a customer. Well, we'd better get cooking, but I'm not going to forget about your swimming lesson. I'm on my way! Woohoo! Who's in our cafe today, Small? I'll give you a clue. She's got two flippers and she's very good at swimming. Not a dolphin? No, Ben. She didn't swim here. She walked. Two flippers to swim, but she walked here. It's a little penguin. It's Penny the penguin. Hello, Penny. <laughs> I think she's hungry. Yes, she is a little bit hungry, but that squawk also means she's thirsty. Now I'm even more confused. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. Oh, yes. My holiday to the very cold South Pole. Ooh! The first thing I saw when I got there was a really unusual looking bird. She was all brown and fluffy with little short wings. And she didn't hop like a bird. She sort of ran. I asked her what kind of bird she was, but she didn't know. All she knew was her name, Penny. She said she couldn't even fly, and she was very lonely because there were no other birds like her anywhere. First I helped by making a little net and catching Penny some fish for her dinner. Then it started snowing, and poor little Penny was cold, so I looked in my holiday suitcase and found my spare coat. She wasn't hungry or cold anymore, but she was still lonely. So we set off across the ice to see if we could find Penny's friends. We searched for weeks and weeks, and Penny was growing bigger and bigger. But we still couldn't find any birds that looked like Penny. Then, one day, we came across lots and lots of beautiful king penguins. It wasn't until Penny took off her coat that she realised she had grown up. She was a king penguin too! Then it dawned on me. When I first met Penny, she had been a baby penguin. That's why her feathers had been brown and fluffy. The other penguins were very proud of her. They taught her how to fish so she wasn't hungry. She had grown up feathers so she wasn't cold anymore. And with all her new friends, she definitely wasn't lonely. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. What an amazing story! And it's given me a really good idea. Way! What's that, Ben? Why, fish, of course. Well, we haven't got any, Ben. Oh, haven't we? But penguins eat fish all the time. I think it would be really nice to cook something else for her. OK, what, though? Hmm, I don't know. What can it be? Oh, oh. we can... Oh. <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! 
Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Look at this one, Ben. Iceberg slosh. Penny the penguin will feel right at home. There are loads of icebergs where penguins live. Iceberg slush it is then. Come on, Small, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need fruit. OK, over we go. In the fridge. Fruit, strawberries, raspberries. Orange juice. Orange juice. Got it. Lemonade. Oh, lovely fizzy lemonade, yeah. Lemon. Over in the fruit bowl. Got the lemon. Sugar. Yep, sugar. And water. I can get that from the tap. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. It's called iceberg slush, but where do we get the ice from? We made that ourselves in the freezer, Ben. Oh, yeah, silly me. I've just remembered something. Did you know you can make models out of ice? They're called sculptures. Really? How do you do that? I don't know. Hey, why don't you whiz off and find out, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Go small, go small, whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. It's really cold here. Oh, no wonder it's cold. That's a big block of ice. Ice is made from water that has been put into a freezer. Because it's so cold in the freezer, the water turns into ice. Ooh, he's going to use his tools to turn the ice into a shape. Can you guess what it's going to be? It's got a head and a beak. tool is being used to mark its wing. I think it's going to be a bird that lives in the cold. Can you guess? The bird needs to have two eyes. That's one. And that's two. Oh look, it's a penguin. A penguin that lives in the cold. I'd better get back to the warm cafe. Way! <laughs> I'm back! Hello there. Did you see the ice being carved? I certainly did. It was fantastic. First they throw some water into a big block of ice. And then they carved it into a shape of a penguin, just like Penny. Sounds amazing. Did you bring some ice back for me? Yes, I did, Ben. Now, where is it? I put it in my pocket. Mm. Oh. Oh, what? Here it is. But that's just a handkerchief, Small. Yes, but... The ice has melted, Ben. Oh, never mind, Small. Let's make some iceberg slush for Penny the Penguin. Let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a 
a treat You can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to iceberg slush? You do? There were strawberries, three, chopped, raspberries, a handful, orange juice, one cup, lemonade, one cup, lemon, a quarter, sugar, two tablespoons, and water. Plenty of water for our ice cubes. Whoopee! Let's get started! For this recipe, we don't need the cooker. We do all our cooking in the freezer. Yes, instead of cooking, we're freezing. <laughs> hey, hey, we'll need two ice cube trays. Here we are. Oh, look small. This one's still got an ice cube in it. <laughs> oh, careful, Ben. Oh, sorry, small. <laughs> now, into one of these ice cube trays, I'm going to pour the orange juice. And I've already put it from the cup into a small jug to make it easier to pour. So, in we go. All the way along. And pop them straight into the freezer. Over we go. There we are. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the freezer is cold, cold, cold. <laughs> Soon, we'll have orange juice ice cubes. What do you think of that, Small? That was great! Oh! Now, in this next ice cube tray, I'm going to start to make the fruit ice cubes. So, I'll put the raspberries along here. In they go. Very nice. Oh, this is going to be very fruity. There we go. That should do. And I'll put the strawberries along the other side. Nice and chopped up so I can put a few in each. There we go. Wow! And that one. Great. And then we can top them up with the water. So the same again. Fill them up all the way along. Brilliant! And then straight into the freezer with these as well. This ice cube's really slidey! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. Whilst we're waiting for the ice cubes to freeze, we can prepare the cup. So, I'm going to take the lemon and wipe it all the way around the rim of this cup. There it goes all the way around to make it all wet and sticky. That's very good. And then we can take the sugar and pour it out onto a plate. There it is. Great. Then we can turn the cup upside down and dip the rim into the sugar. Give it a bit of a twist. And hey presto, it sticks. Clever or what small? <laughs> I'm a penguin. <laughs> I wonder if the ice cubes are ready yet. They take a while to freeze. Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll pretend to be asleep so that the water thinks it's frozen. <laughs> Good idea, Small. Here goes. <laughs> Is it morning yet? OK, Freezer. We've been asleep for ages now. The ice cubes must be ready. <laughs> hey! There we are. Absolutely perfect. Wow, that's amazing, Ben. <laughs> it's just a little trick, Small. Huh? I put some in the freezer earlier whilst you were watching the ice sculptures, so that they'd be ready in time. <laughs> OK, I'll let you off then. But I'm not going to let you off your swimming lesson, Ben. Oh, it was only a bit of fun. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the iceberg slush. In fact, this is the slushy part. I'm going to tip all of the orange juice ice cubes into a plastic jug, or something else that won't break. So, in we go. 
Be very careful. There we go. And this is the fun part. I'm going to slush them up with the end of this rolling pin. Ooh. Give them a good old slush. Penguins like ice. They must be great at skating. <coughs> Woohoo! <coughs> there. That's the orange all slushy. Now we can put it into the cup. So I'm going to scoop it in with a spoon. That's one. And a little more, I think. There we go. And next, it's time for our fruity ice cubes. So, I'm going to take one strawberry and, I think, one raspberry. Yeah. There we go. And finally, we can top it off with the lovely fizzy lemonade. <laughs> now, I need to be careful not to spill it here, so I'm going to put it into a plastic jug. There we go. This should make it easier to pour. So, let's top it up now. In goes the lemonade. This is looking great. Perfect. And I'd like to finish it off with an umbrella and a straw. And if you want to, you can pop some orange on there. I love oranges. And hey presto, iceberg slush. What do you think, Small? That looks great, Ben. Let's get her off to Penny the Penguin before it melts. One iceberg slush coming through. There. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean, make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben, and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. Cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh yes! And look, small. There's a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, "Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, my iceberg slush was delicious." Here's a present to say thank you. They helped me learn to swim. Maybe they'll help you too. They're swimming armbands, Ben. Now I'm looking forward to my swimming lesson. I won't sink in these. <laughs> I'll swim just like a penguin. Come on, small. Let's go. <laughs> See you soon. Hey. See you soon. Hey. 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 Welcome to our cafe. 